Uh, my name is Craig Chartier. I'm the director of the Plymouth Archaeological Rediscovery Project. Uh, we're an independent archaeological company that does education and uh, excavation. Uh, so we've been working out here for the past uh, I've been about 12 days. We have one more day to go. Uh, tomorrow, Saturday, will be the last day of the excavations out here. We've accomplished everything we've set out for. Uh, we found the four corners of the meeting house. We found all the sides of it. Uh, we've been able to define a lot of uh, the information about how the meeting house was constructed, um, what kind of elements it had. We found evidence of a, what we think is a pulpit window. Just today we found a piece of leaded glass that we think um, shows that at least at one time the, win the windows of the meeting house were diamond shaped, like the old style uh, window panes. Um, that's the only piece of lead that we found, so we think probably they updated the windows at some point there and probably put in regular rectangular windows. Um, we found a lot of evidence of Native Americans out here, um, all consistently about the same date, all dating back about three to four thousand years, um, which is nice because we're able to interpret it all in one, one lump period instead of having a lot of different periods separately. So it looks like uh, Native Americans were just stopping by here sort of infrequently um, doing some flint napping, making and repairing stone tools, and then moving on, not really spending a lot of time in this location though. I'm uh, sifting one level of the quad that I'm uh, uh, collecting, and uh, once you throw the dirt in, then you just shake it to see what uh, you find, all the small stuff goes through, and then uh, a lot of times it's just rocks, but uh, found some glass and some nails uh, in the screen. There are, sometimes I take a few and show them to Craig because he knows a lot better than us uh, what it might be and uh, you know it might be a chip from a uh, Native American artifact so I just make sure put it in my bucket and and find out if it's something important but once that's done I just give it a little hit and it's gone <laughs> Uh, we found evidence of them dismantling the meeting house and either taking it away or um, reusing parts of the neighborhood or something. We found a, a lot of nails, not as many as if the meeting house burned in place or, or if they completely tore it apart on this site, but a, a good amount of nails. So that, that probably shows that they were salvaging a, a lot of the material that was there. Uh, we haven't really found many stones associated with the foundations. So we think that they probably, someone in the neighborhood, someone locally took the foundation stones away and reused them at their house so they could exist in someone's foundation of one of the older houses you know, within the neighborhood here in Duxbury. I've been here for about eight days for the dig. Um, today I started at about 9.30. And what we found was a piece of lead and then cleaning it out, it appears that it's channeled lead, which means it was probably held something, possibly the windows, in the uh, second meeting house that we're looking for. Pick up something that nobody's touched in hundreds of years, or if you get an Indian artifact, it may have been thousands of years since someone was picking these things up. So I enjoy that, yes. Uh, the next step is gonna be finishing washing all the artifacts. We've had volunteers out here who've been washing and processing artifacts as we've been going along. Um, we still have hundreds of bags of artifacts that need to be washed. Uh, we have to wash all those things and we have to catalog it all and then try to interpret it basically and come up with a final report. So we'll have a, uh, a completed report probably within six months or so. A uh, copy of that will go to the library. A copy of that will be at the Duxbury Rural and Historic Society and then we'll also be publishing that online as well. So anybody in Duxbury can basically look at, at the report and see what we found out here. Uh, it's gonna have lots of graphics in it, it's gonna have lots of photographs, and we'll, we'll try to get as much of the information, even the raw data that we have online for anybody to look at, because you know, it's, it's their history, it's basically you know, Duxbury's history, and so you know, people can look at, at, look at it as much or as little as they want.